Welcome back. Anticipation for President-elect Donald Trump's inauguration speech building this morning with just one day until he takes the oath. Joining us right now is presidential historian Doug Weed. He's giving us a look back at the most memorable inaugural speeches in American history. Doug, good to see you. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Maria. Good to see you. So, uh, Hi, Dagan. I want to take a look at... at, at We've got Dagan as well as Lee Carter, as well uh, as Tony Sayek here. So we are Hi, all uh, yes, excited to talk with you, Doug. Reagan's 1981 speech addressing Americans' role in government called Citizens to Action. Watch this. Want to get your reaction. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. From time to time, we've been tempted to believe that society has become too complex to be managed by self-rule, that government by an elite group is superior to government for, by, and of the people. But if no one among us is capable of governing himself, then who among us has the capacity to govern someone else? All of us together, in and out of government, must bear the burden. That was a powerful speech, Doug. Do you think it was his words or his delivery that's most important? Oh, I think it was his deeds, <laughs> what he did, that was so important. I think people will look back on Lincoln, they'll say he saved the Union. They'll look back on Reagan and even George H.W. Bush, and they'll say they saved the world. Because we talk today about uh, nuclear weapons falling in the hands of terrorists, but what we know now about the Soviet Union and how it was run then, they had fallen into terrorists, and Ronald Reagan ended that Cold War. And, you know, you notice how Barack Obama blames George W. Bush for the economy he inherited, and there's a measure of truth to that, yeah. but uh, Bill Clinton doesn't give much credit to the peace dividend that was handed to him from Reagan and Bush. When that Cold War ended, it released trillions of dollars that were being spent continually uh, in the arms race with the Soviet Union. Let me, let me run through a couple before I get the team in here. President John F. Kennedy, the 1961 speech also called Americans into action. Watch this. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask what you can do for your country. My fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man. Now, obviously, Doug, one of the most famous lines of all, uh, of all time, what significance does this speech have at that point in history, and what do we learn from it today? Well, so much hope. Uh, Kennedy brought so much hope, and he, he brought youth and vigor, and uh, hope is so important, as we've learned. A lot of his lines, the things that Donald Trump can learn from Kennedy's speech, is a lot of his lines he took from others and paraphrased them. He took a line from Adlai Stevenson and reworded it. He took that famous line, Ask Not, came from uh, Choate, where he went to school, and from the, um, uh, the chancellor there at Choate, who used it frequently in a, in a different way. So yeah. it's it's not a time to look for new phrases, it's time to look for old phrases that work. And keep your speech short, which Kennedy did. Does anybody expect Donald Trump to bring in any of the famous lines from past presidents in, in, in his inaugural speech, real quick? I expect him to bring him in his famous lines <laughs> and his adjectives. <laughs> Make America we great. Hear. Exactly. Because you know he's going to ad lib just a little bit. You yeah. know he'll go off script and be like, it's going to be you. And while, and while he's talking to all Americans, I think he's especially in his speech going to use words that reach the working, hard working American. That's no question. A theme. Uh, Trump vernacular. Doug, great to see you. Yeah, one of the things I'm really <laughs> interested to see is how important the inaugural dress is for the people coming together right now. Sure. Doug Weed, good to see you, sir. We'll be right back. Thank Everybody you, stay with us.